They're probably gonna run the CK in down bottom. They just don't know the is gonna be alone. PPD's like, where are the heroes? Just looks here, nobody there. PPD is still looking for as well. Do for now is it looks like they try and set up for that kill at top. Are you in the fog with the cold feet into Fisher? They try and connect in with the Mars Spear stun, and it looks like they did just about. Funny interaction there with the Burr Strike over the Fisher as 3 3 loses his life. First blood drawn by TNC. Alright, so that's a pretty big win there by TNC because you now even if you do swap lanes as an IP, which uh, could be a possibility, Castle has a pretty nice laning against the Aza Curry now. They're ganking mid, Cold Feet, Fisher there on the oh. Fata, Acid Spray down and the Cold Feet snap. They don't have the damage to push towards the Lina, at least not enough to finish her off anyway. So Fata will just pop his own salve, We've got fine and dandy damage. in that mid lane. Honestly, as we've seen right now, or recently, remember with Samael killing himself yesterday? It's not always necessary to get the kill in the mid lane. Sometimes just harassing them, forcing them to use a bit of region, and winning that region war is enough for you. Also has level 3, which means he has all his tools at his disposal. This could be a potential cure on PPD if they want to go for it. Or maybe even Ace. A bit harder to accomplish that though. There's the PPD kill. That Chaos Pulse sets up the cold fate. PPD can't get away too slow. And the poor Maiden is finished off with one last strike by Gabby. There's still a bounty rune. It, it's nearly three minutes in. And nobody has gathered P, 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 D. Ah, okay, it was planned. So he, he dies so he can come back, TP Shrine, grab the bounty room. Nicely done. Right. This'll come in handy. Yeah. That's exactly what CK excels at as well, killing heroes early on in the lane. This is the kind of lane you don't want to give a CK who kind of relies on that killing potential early on and that super strong laning he tends to have. We're seeing a bit of a tower dive, but the PPD realized why he shouldn't have gone so close. They catch the maid in Fissure. With a cold speed, will it trigger? She is a grandma speed hero, but PPD is just barely fast enough to get away from the cold speed. Did go for an early, well, as early as the support can, boots of speed to make sure he doesn't die to the cold speed easily. <laughs> Gabby could be in trouble now as well. They have some birds in the second as well. Cold speed on the ace who's under tower. Gonna fight defensively. Gabby dies though. And AU now the next target for NIP. Gonna take two kills here almost for free as Tim's fights Ace, realizes. And this is not the easiest of fights and just stuns and walks away. Saxa even under that tower waddles on back as well. Very nice dive from NIP. Tim's oh. quite ready for the initiative there as Gabby just gives the old what for to Spectre. Quick little reality rift, and now the play in towards PPD as they guard the bounty runes. But Fato's arrival should force TNC back, even with that nice Fisher into Cold Feet. Attempting a kill as PPD here is still dangerous. So bounty rune grabbed up, chased forward by Saxo, stunned on his advance. And we'll have to give up the chase for now. So Armel giving a bit of room as NIP secure that bottom lane. But NIP going. Oh lord, he coming. He's zooming. Gets a sentry ward down and a few clicks in onto AU's ancient apparition. Oh, my bad. That's the first T-Tours. Cuckoo gets blown up top. Quick Burrow strike into Laguna Blade. Looks like it was an immediate dispatching of him. Gabby is the one being gone on bottom though. Dive forward. And Phoenix's Radiant's fiery spirits top going to work on this CK, forcing the one shard to be popped. And Aces committal under that tier one will secure the kill. Now Cuckoo with AU. Grab up Spectre. Cold feet are good with the help of the spear. And the finishing blow from Cuckoo's Mars will get them the one for one trade. Nice little rotation down. Does mean now, though, that CK will likely just have to TP top. Yeah, that that was actually quite important there. Yeah, you do lose, or you force a level 3, so it's not like Caustic Finale follows you that much. And Cuckoo has more kill potential, like for example on PPD. Cold Feet trigger, it doesn't matter, they spear him to the tree. And one last hit, they gotta hit him! PPD frostbites Cuckoo! You shouldn't have doubted there. And now Cuckoo might be in trouble himself. It's not a soul ring if he wants to force out the arena and the magic stick as well. Uh, the Spectral Dagger in for now. Gets the spear onto Saxa, forces the bird away, and Ace as well with that God's Rebuke. But Ace is chasing after him, diligent as always. The Tortoise and the Hare we were talking about, in the end the Tortoise does win the race by pure diligence. PPD still alive, thanks to Fiery Spirits. Like, Cuckoo there lifting his arms up a couple of times for the final hit. Just to get at least the effect. Or it's just a dispersion, way too strong, especially in the lane. Yeah, like you want Max Dagger, oh god. 
the arena yeah. dropped. Cold Feet's there. Ace in a ah. difficult spot now. Do I run? Do I push back to the other side? He can't really do too much. Under the tower, nearly falling as Fata rotates in, but blocked out by the Fisher. AU kept alive. Thanks to Tim's Earthshaker. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. That disruption made quite a difference there, actually. Probably saved him from the potential death against the tower. And now the lean now could be in trouble. Speared against the tree. They have the cold feet that's probably gonna trigger as well. Chaos Bolt to ensure it does. Fata will die to a fissure. Tim's wants that kill. Tim's will have it. But this does give a bit of gold yet to that Radiant. So we're gonna have it in the next minute probably. You don't want to fight yet, though. You want to fight once you get that Monta style. That's going to be the CK who's going to be burying the front of your force. Oh no, Fanta again. Stuck at the top of the Ice Blast. They even used the Phantasm to secure this kill. Fanta will be tied to the Cold Feet. There he goes. Even with the Echo Sun to stop the counter initiation. Good job there. Tims as he runs away. Gets caught out with a Burrow Strike. They divide the team fight a bit. Tims will go down to the Crystal Maiden's right clicks. But the rest of his team will make it out. Tims the sacrificial pawn here. And, you know, support for mid later, definitely a worthwhile trade for you. And there, there is that fog threat there is that initiative Dyer's threat right tmc able to long range initiate with the fissure the ice blast the phantasm and no matter what hero you are here as nip you are under threat it is an absolutely fearful position to be in against this earth shaker ancient apparition draft opening picks by the way is, is probably a important note to make cuckoo bottom with an ice blast and an arena they pick off 3-3 nearly losing cuckoo's mars he's gonna walk this one off though battle looking for that lsa towards the ancient apparition but au has also managed to create a bit of a gap between himself and these ninjas players saxa in a real tasty spot here cuckoo might find himself in a bit of bother with the fiery spirits and icarus dive they're trying to commit onto that Cuckoo kill. Mars is dropping. PPD's there, trying to finish him off. Finally tickled down. Gabby's oh, Phantasm no. doesn't get the job done, but the Cold Feet might. With that concoction, they'll find Saxon. At least they get the trade. That was unfortunate. Ga watching Gabby try to go up the hill was like watching the Mythosisipus there, but he does get that kill eventually against the Phoenix. And at least you trade Cuckoo for something. I think I was going to mention, though, that Cuckoo, I think, making sure the CK also has a fair amount of farm and participates in kills. And then they're gonna just fall back on the alchemist, so it's double the net worth. Of the <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah. Closing on the monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, it's getting real spooky, sweaty over here. Alchemist man, what are you up to? Quick dive forward, looking for Gabby, but NIP smoke will come to naught. A three-man Fisher, beautiful from Tim's. Not really gonna accomplish too much though, as he is Laguna bladed into death, ceases to exist in the mid lane. Ninjas in pajamas find something off the back of it, maybe an objective to convert into as they aim for the mid-tier one. Radiant's middle Arena's tower ready. is under attack. This is dangerous. Radiant's uh, oh, no, Arena's not <laughs> good anymore. You just lost a spear like that. Might still want to initiate. They're considering it. Mars in the back lines get stunned out there. Saxa annoying with the spirits. Cuckoo considering the arena. There it is. Bird can just fly away. Come on, man. Everyone knows birds can fly over walls. Spear. He used it a bit earlier just to harass and it was just... Like, if you have an arena with that spear, it's just not... You lose a lot of your effectivity, unfortunately. Oh, and now he's to be punished for this. Look at poor Cuckoo. Burst from behind, and the pain is real. Cuckoo goes down, but in the bottom lane, at least he will get a counter kill on PPD. <laughs> PPD does not care, though. This was worthwhile for NIP. Bye bye, Peter. Double bouncy rune down bottom. Something that TNC have been doing exceptionally well is grabbing these bouncy runes. I think the previous round at 10 minutes, they got. We need Noxville, we need the Dat Dota stats coming out. Mars gets his ulti down onto PPD top. Quick little move in from Armel, not even needed. It's a solo kill pretty much there from Cuckoo. As Saxus Phoenix looking to defend this top tier one. They go with the LSA and the epicenter. The supernova's down and Ace is in. The burrow forward will catch out this out. Armel's oh. about to drop. Finally, they bring the big man down. The ice blast in though is good with the Fisher. Can they get the echo? Can they get in with Tim's? They're trying with a chaos bolt. They get the Phoenix and Gabby's right clicks are pummeling Saxa into the ground. Three heroes down and NIP. They are in full retreat. 3-3 three, three and Ace back through the trees. Tim's isn't done just yet, though. He wants the Sand King, and he's going to find him, hey? The Echo's there. Solo Echo with a burrow out. He stays in the Sandstorm. Fisher to block him. But no reveal. Finally, a sentry's dropped. And TNC claim their final kill of the fight. NIP bust out everything for that arc kill. But TNC fight back. Right. Isn't that worth? That was nice. 
but TNC was had a tier one still standing, and that was the big thing that NIP you know, didn't think about or didn't want to consider. Are they going for this? They are as well. The Mars ult is down after that concoction. They've got Ace, just an Ice Blast. That's all it takes. Ice Blast lands and they've got the chain stuns to remove the Spectre from the game. That means that NIP cannot quite defend this, right? You don't have your main core here. The Supernova is not available. Sox is trying to get away. Cold Feet might just trigger. Gabby's still trying to get uphill, but can't find it. Saxa can still be speared to a wall. Oh wait, no, five seconds, yeah. However, they'll kill him with a God's Rebuke. Damage is the best stun in the game. And with that, Saxa will go down the tower as well. And NIP. Courier in a couple of minutes. Uh, a couple of seconds, even. He's <laughs> A couple of minutes. Now he's gonna get Courier priority now. Earthshaker. Actually not going for the blink as they catch PPD top. Fourth death of the game under that tier one tower. An easy grab there for Armel and Gabby. Earth, I, I'm just looking at Earthshaker. Tim's here. I saw the double bracer soul ring and I thought, okay, he'll delay his blink by a bit to be a bit beefier. Actually has the full pipe queued. So opting to not yeah. go blink dagger this game. About that full radiance for Ace. As NIP make their base camp down south in that radiant jungle. PPD. Getting walked at by Tim's. Earthshake is there with the Fisher. The follow through from Gabby will arrive now, as well as Armel. They've brought numbers down to bottom. Concoction not going to be in time to land, and PPD's going to get caught by the Mars. The arena there with a spear as well. Echo down onto Ace. But that supernova, it is beautiful with a borrow to follow through and TNC falling apart. NIP had the numbers advantage. They strike back with great vengeance. And TNC bit off a little more than they could chew. Yeah, they, they lack the AA, if I'm not mistaken, that team fight, which is a big deal, because Coldfield has actually been quite impactful. So does their middle tier one. Radiant Obsward spots Fata top, so they see the Lena walking to lane. Oh man, Fata doesn't know what's about to hit him. The full freight train of TNC is coming through. Gabby says hello. Choo choo! On with the Ice Blast, in with the stuns, down goes Fata, easy peasy. They're also setting up for any kind of reinitiation or backup Radiant plan for NIP. Cuckoo is there ready and waiting for the jump in, and he's actually going to find Ace. The catch onto the Spectre with a Supernova in the back, looking for that AoE zoning out of TNC, but they will connect with the Concoction onto Spectre. They need to bring Ace down with another Concoction. They're going to chain stun her into Oblivion, down six feet under. Ace is going to dagger away. No, she's not going to survive. Gabby will crit her down and aim for Saxa now. Phoenix trapped in the middle of all the Phantasm illusions and TNC. Oh, Mel, he'll stun himself this time around with the Concoction. But NIP, without your Spectre for 35, this could be high ground from the Filipinos. I absolutely love that team fight for TNC. Do you see Amazing Spirit stop the Spectre from dying? He almost gets away, but in comes Gabby, just running like a madman with a sign. TNC. And now, with that Aegis in hand, they're gonna try to look for a team fight. And Cuckoo is not waiting. PPD's like, why? Why me again? Not even wasting the spear. Oh, it doesn't happen actually. It doesn't matter. PPD killed off easily. And now they're gonna probably shove out a lane, try to take some. Easy objectives, tier 1s, perhaps in the bottom lane, a bit of extra build. Uh, CK continues to farm in that top lane as well. We should mention as well, just talking about the CK, that his uh, farming speed this game is really impressive. Like, I know he has a Midas, but he's a CK, you know? For sure, and usually when that happens, you know, your offlaner, Cuckoo, suffers. But he's still looking pretty decent himself. As the Phantasm top, they know that Saxa did just dive, so they'll force the Supernova into Burrow. NIP committing for a kill onto Gabby here, and Epicenter is going to come out with Laguna Blade as well. Spectre's on top, and that's the kill. They have taken down the Chaos Knight for 50 seconds as Armel will stun himself. Man to dodge, not coming out. NIP will not commit up for the Alk though. They do not want to be fighting high ground, blind into that shrine. TNC lose a big core hero. NIP feeling bold. Going for it. Get the haunt so that Ace could steal the kill. Because who cares? It's your carry. You need to get him farmed. Oh, they've got Ace! They've got Ace! Not no, no Spectre's oh, gone! Not like this. Not like this. TNC. They can't even go into the arena of blood. They're completely protected. At least Fada will get away. But who cares? You just lost your main core. And Saxa is idling. Look at the trees. What are you doing, Saxa? Why are you trying to pop the creeps here? He gets pinned to a tree and decimated by TNC. He just let go of the keyboard for a second. Yeah, buy back immediately. 
And they're straight to high ground. There's no buyback here on the Spectre, so she's down for 20 more seconds. Laguna Blade drops Armel. Spookily low on the HP front. I've got the Cold Feet snap onto the Sand King. Drag back into the Fisher with the Spear. And he's gone. Has buyback now. Will be forced to use it as the Sun Ray comes in on top of TNC and burns down Cuckoo. NIP defend their high ground and keep that tier 3 alive. Complete mitigation of the Earthshaker's initiation. He doesn't care about having that Radiance burn stop his Blink Dagger because he doesn't have one. They look for Ace with a concoction to Ice Blast. They need Chain Stunts now from the Fisher and the Jump. The catch is there. Yet again, Ace removed from the map. 50 seconds on the sidelines, but this time does have buyback. Radiance top tower is under attack. Well, we just watched another kill onto Ace here on Twitch, one of the sponsors of this. As you taunt, even globally. Yeah, I didn't know that either. That's <laughs> that's amazing. Global taunt. New level of salt. Man, that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Blink borrow. In we go. Immediate snap reaction from NIP, and they've got the Mars. Look at the there, but it's oh. not good enough. Cuckoo BKB, but does not escape. Supernova's down, and Fata, oh, Fata, freezing film from PBD Castle by the Fisher, and in comes Armel, blow up the Maiden, and Percenta not going to be good enough. The Echo Slam matches it perfectly, as they have removed the Maiden, trade back for the Mars, and the Ocean are gone, but this Chaos Knight and Alk, they do not stop, rampaging forward, looking for the Spectre now, as Armel will catch him with a concoction or not. Ace is quicker on the finger. Manta dodges and four stabbed away from danger. Spectre on the high ground, and they won't commit for the kill. TNC. Spooky, spooky scenes there as they remove NIP heroes so quickly from these fights. He just got level 20, and Fada was just not expecting that. He got hit by just a massive amount of damage, went to half health immediately, and that forced the, the NIP guys to go back. And unfortunately, in a similar position, Ace cannot really help his teammates right now. Like, he has some damage, he has some tank ability, but definitely not enough to withstand the amazing amount of damage that TNC can do. And we're going to see the first Axe now coming out on this uh, Alchemist. He just got it. Who's he going to give it to? Let me shake your it is the TNC side. His NIP very focused on trying to push out these side lanes. Fata. Spotted by the Radiant Ops Ward, but PPD will be the middle man. He tanks the gank for his Lena top. Oh, down bottom. Do they have reveal? AU's here with a gem, so they do. Glimmer kick back. Gabby moves forward. 3-3 three, three in the trees, though. Hidden away, safely tucked behind the wood line. As TNC right now, do you choose to push? Now that you have the Hs, try to make the best of it and just try to force a team from an IP. Because your counter initiation is not as strong as it was last week. You don't have that confidence. Radiant structures are fortified. Oh, what's that 3 3 doing? <laughs> He's going to make it out. They could not find him. Five seconds remain now. TNC want to try and strike while the iron is hot. Yeah, uh, but it seems like NIP has a pretty decent amount of defense, honestly. Look, that's a good first strike. And the Sunray is destroying Gabby, just clean through his health there. Like, Guna Blade's done nothing though. Kuku trying to get the kill here on 3 3 first. Armel joins in. There's a hot use though. Try to catch out the CK in the back lines, and Gabby might just lose his Aegis here. They managed to root him down. They get the Aegis from Gabby, but the Echo Slam ensures A stays there to play with the angry Armel. As Gabby comes back in, it makes nice with a Phantasm. Fantastic. The TPD got that BKB and pushes everyone away. And Mara lost the epicenter for the first strike. Now catches for Armel, and they get the kill on the Alchemist. And the Peace managed to defend this. Happy. Meanwhile, now the next target for these three heroes in NIP. He's been rooted down, tries to get away. Be fast enough. A burst like a stop scoop as well. A blind stun 350 means two. As Fata comes in with less for Karay and ensures Gabby will go stay to the graveyard fully. Saxa though will die to the ice blast, but they can still catch Cuckoo. He's in frozen solid. They missed the first like They have a sentry finally to see Cuckoo. It's our TP. Frostbite cancels it. And Fata's in for the last kill here, ensuring that he can make a four man wipe. Cuckoo will die to the ice strike array. And NIP will defend their towers, and they'll get a lot of kills in the process. Or the racks, rather. Sanking has been exceptionally good with these multi man burrow strikes, landing onto the two of them, opening up the two hit in from the light strike array of Fata and the follow through from that, that Sunray against a heart 
Chaos Knight, that percentage-based damage absolutely shreds him. Now they're looking for the high ground push themselves. Then OP, down bottom, onto that tier three. Boom Shakalaka. <laughs> Earthshaker, uh, dropping the Boom Shakalaka to jump on the Sand King, but 3-3 is pretty quick on that finger to blink back himself. Phoenix, which they want to showcase here. I was wondering what Fata was up to. He goes bot, throws out one spell, and immediately TP's mid. Oh, Roshan okay. alive with a pressure shot. The jump, the horn is there. In onto Tim's. The Earthshaker's been picked off with the AA in the back and in court as well. The Mars ult, he does very little. And the Supernova is good from NIP. Tim's down. PPD will be the trade back. But NIP, they have to retreat now. They can't fight. Oh, maybe oh. they can with a two man LSA. Fata rejoins. Perfect time. Perfect takedown on the CK. Now NIP do not have to run. They can chase. Alchemist down and out for the count. 100 seconds without him. Roshan opens up for NIP. The map belongs to PPD. Wow, that is NIP literally forcing TMC to face their own medicine from last game. It's actually happening. They're winning this in the lake. Now they have a Roshan for free for them, which comes with Refresher, which is absolutely massive for Ace, or even perhaps giving it to a second Supernova. And we saw the impact it does. And now with Ace, with this Roshan, he'll also reach level 25, which means a bit more dispersion, most likely. Like, they think about middle it. Tower. The rest of his squad, four man smoked. Fata sacks a 3-3 PPD, smoke broken, in we go with the Burrow. 3-3 catches onto one, and they've blown him up completely out of the game. Buys back, Mars Cuckoo rejoins to fight around this shrine area, but doesn't have a shrine to TP2. NIP disengage, reset. And waste that buyback of Cuckoo. This will come in well, handy. For now, all they're doing is kind of eating away at TNC's net worth lead. They are managing to get more space and more time for the Spectre to. I mean, he's already obviously online, but he just. We we'll start to look towards Radiant's these buybacks and their battle. timings as well. Alkalina, Spectre, Phoenix, Sand King of the jump in. 3-3. Three, three. Tries to catch Tim's, but there we go with the Enchant Totem over the top. Fat has been blown up, and Gabby goes to work. Aeon Disc is there for PPD, but the rest of NIP, they are falling short. Supernova focused down and taken out. A Saxa falls, and PPD will follow four heroes of NIP. Where did they go? I actually don't know where heroes go when they die in Dota, to be honest, Gareth. I can't answer that question sincerely. But can you tell me, though, what was the difference there in the... And the team fight, because to me, I think it was the Phoenix position. Supernova to zone, they've got the Spectre to haunt and jump and target heroes in the back. If NIP get jumped in like a straight 5-on-5 head-on-head -head clash, if they meet in a short amount of time and in these choke points, TNC have that ability to blow you out of the water. Like they're trying now onto Ace, but a good man to dodge gets him away from that CK stun. TNC focusing buildings, ranged barracks, it will finally fall. 53 minutes in, TNC claim a building, and they look for the melee now as well. It's risky business though, against this supernova. Sunray, Saxa Phoenix, and they're even gonna glyph it up as well, defending with Ace on the front lines. TNC, are they giving up on this melee? Armel wants it. He's a greedy boy and he wants it. We'll have to give up on any further attempts though. NIP have held. have held, like you mentioned, again, this time they haven't lost Rax, it's not entirely like last game in Fata though, in the top lane, is he trying to go for a special kill? Yes, with Ace coming in, thanks to the haunt, they just try to kill Cuckoo, and I think they forced the cheese wall off, Cuckoo, Cuckoo is dead! They just took a really important kill up here, together with a BKB and everything off Cuckoo, 120 seconds without him, this might be the chance for NIP to go, well, actually, I'm maybe speaking too quickly, they don't have haunt here. Phoenix, Sand King, 6 minutes for them, Crystal Maiden, 40 seconds, TNC prepping for a fight on this high ground. Sam King jumped, the Ice Blast misses. No, maybe not, the Reality Rift, it does just about, kisses him on the side. And 3-3's down for two minutes himself. The jump over the top will get Tim's out of danger. Fata in, the Echo Slam's there. Fata's half HP, blown up with a big crit from Gabby. Now he turns to face the Crystal Maiden. PPD being shredded by this Chaos Knight, oh, but the Supernova's good. In towards Gabby, forcing the TP home. He's made it away. TNC evade danger. They do not fall apart. Beautiful, crisp gameplay from the Filipinos as NIP 
Do not understand what just hit them. Gabby told him to. And now it's time for TNC to try to go for these rags. Again. See if they can. 20th Ada time think lucky. Of killing the Spectre. This could be dangerous. Ace just standing there. In reality, Rifted, but look at that Sunray eating into their health. They need an Ice Blast. Ice Blast will come out, but does it actually hit? Yes, it does. He has potential damage coming in, and he can't last too long. The Ice Blast will eventually shatter him. Goodbye, Ace. That's done. No carry for you for 100 seconds, but he can come back with a buyback. He does have Haunt. They need to force that out of him, have to play aggressively, there's the buyback immediately, and the haunt as well. Cuckoo, he forces the arena, catches the bird, he can't fly away, Cuckoo kills him like a cage bird, but he is, and goes back, to now assault PPD, and PPD cannot even keep the freezing field going for long enough. We got spot that tries to destroy the out, the damage is not good enough, Ace gets stunned out as well, for now Armel. Surviving this engagement entirely, they destroyed Fanta. They are now surrounding Spectre. They managed to spear him into a tree. They push him back as well with a four staff. Ace gets away for now. And a nice double power strike. He can continue this fight again. A second ice is coming in. Ace, it's the bane of your existence. You cannot keep healing this, but it got me out of mana. And it comes out the second time. They need some damage for Ace, but Ace is just getting away for now. However, Ice Blast with Ags is gonna last forever. The Everyone's sink, so the tanky! Ice actually tries the shattering! It's the Ice Blast that GG. kills him! And the GG is called! Oh it's my TNC god! It's TNC! Good! Taking this game number two! Two owing the NIP! 2-0 victory for TNC over NIP! Matt, that last fight, nobody was dying!